Well, good morning. It's uh, 7 a.m. and today we're heading up to uh, a place called Tanquil Lake. This is in the uh, the Pemberton Valley. Uh, if you can see right behind me there, you see that uh, that burn section. That's where we're going to be heading, right up there. And then you see that little mound up on top. And we'll be cutting uh, sort of like over over that way and going around the valley. And uh, and that's going to take us in behind there where we're going to find a, a beautiful, beautiful lake. Uh, last time I did this hike, we uh, we actually drove way up and uh, and accessed along the ridge there, coming in th this way, <laughs> in behind, right? Yeah, from over there, you can come in this way. But this way, we're just going to park here right where the pavement ends, and uh, this way we don't bang up our vehicle, and we're just going to walk up that slope there. So uh, we're, we're trying to get an early start here and get up there before, or get a ways up there before the sun starts beating on us. It's supposed to be a hot day today, like around 36, 37 degrees. So yeah, let's go. Nice hop farm along here. So here we are, we're parked here at the trailhead, so uh, we're just going to get going. It's a beautiful, nice, cool morning, and uh, so far there's not even any mosquitoes. This is the way we came from. This is actually a, a grizzly bear corridor through here. They uh, they come down out of the uh, out of the mountains over on that side. Uh, they spend the winter up there hibernating. They come down across those fields, and then they come across here, and then they go right up. Basically, they go up the trail that we're heading up. Well, we're off to a lovely start here. You can see the forest is quite open. That's all because of the fire that was like, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven years ago now. Look at my wife leading the way up this hill here. Ooh, thimbleberries. They're delicious. Woohoo! Up we go! Yeah, a year after that fire roared right through this area, uh, that caused a whole bunch of morel mushrooms to sprout up through here. And we came out here in the early spring and uh, we got ourselves a lot of morels. It was a lot of fun. Someone needs a little break. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, we have some wild strawberries through here. A little smoky back down the valley. Yeah, a little hazy. Not too bad though. We've certainly seen it much worse. How you doing, Gran? It's quite amazing how all those trees, they all just snapped off at one point. Well, halfway up, they all just snap, fall to the ground. Nice little creek. Well, and there we are now. We're directly up, way up over that road where I took the very first video down by the hop farm. Oh, 
Well, we're getting some elevation now. There's actually three different ways to, uh, to get into Tenkwa Lake. And this way is uh, probably the most popular for those who don't want to take their vehicle on, uh, on any rough roads. Oh, we've been seeing actually quite a bit of bear poo along the way. Just small little piles. Down below we could see it had a lot of grass mixed in with it. Probably from feeding down in the fields down below. Wow, we're definitely, we're moving into this valley, coming around the corner and moving into the valley of the Wolverine. And it's quite nice because it's definitely cooler now. Um, the other trail so far, coming up through that, uh, through the burn there, it's very beautiful, there's no doubt about that. But, uh, uh, you know, on a hot sunny day, it's not ideal. That's where the trail comes in off the Hurley. Through that little valley and along this hillside. And then we're going to join it way up in there. That's great. You can see now that we're, we're finally out of that big burn. And we're just heading through the forest now. Uh, we're, in, we're right into the valley of the Wolverine now. And uh, hopefully within... 15, 20 minutes, we'll join up with the other trail coming in from over that way. And then we won't be too far from the meadows. These kind of places are the places you can see a grizzly bear. They like this kind of thing. Very lush. Lots of nice vegetation for them to snack on. Hello! Oh, well, we don't see anything. But it's beautiful. It's a flower starting. the junction with the other trail yeah so we just came up seven kilometers just two kilometers to the lake now starting to get into the meadows it's a little bit early in a few more weeks this will just be exploding with the alpine flowers looking up to Goat, Goat Mountain or Goat Peak. That's the hermit thrushes that are singing through here. They're very beautiful. They breed up here in the Alpine. Subalpine, subalpine. Behind that mountain there, that was where we came up, that slope. We were heading like straight up towards the mountain, but then we finally ended up cutting around it through there. It's 
So we're pulling right up into the meadows now. Very beautiful here. Last year when we came through here, we, uh, we saw a grizzly at uh, quite close proximity, as well as we saw a wolf. And uh, I'm kind of hoping uh, that we can see a grizzly bear again. Um, it's nice in the meadows because uh, there's a lot of room and uh, hopefully if we see a if we see a bear it'll be at some uh, proximity away from us yeah i was just right over there on those at the trail there and then the little creeks where last year we saw a wolf running up through there This is the meadow last year that uh, we saw a grizzly bear just just feeding in the meadow right here and we had to get past it because we were on our way back yeah so we're just having a little bit of a, a little bit of a picnic here it's actually uh, one of my favorite parts about going on a hike is uh, finally getting up to somewhere and uh, and sitting and having a picnic and uh, well lots of people love to enjoy sandwiches with bread I always make sandwiches with sweet potatoes. It's got uh, sunflower seed butter in between and some kale leaves. Mm -mm. Well, we, uh, we dropped down out of the pass now, down coming down towards the uh, Tenkwa Lake. This is the little uh, campground right here, one of the one of the campgrounds on the lake. Beautiful place up here, just amazing. towards the lake. Nice. We have lots of fish in the creek. Like rainbow trout. Beautiful.
Uh, there's nothing like drinking this beautiful water straight out of the creek like that. Mm. It's cold. Wow. Well, I'd say the hardest part of this hike was actually coming back down. Um, yeah, it's quite a, it's quite the knee wrecker coming down these steep hills, and uh, it wasn't helped at all by the fact that uh, it's like 40 degrees or something. I mean, I don't know what the temperature is, but it's basically like coming down in an oven. So, but anyway, we're just nearing the car here, and uh, we survived. Woohoo!